Have you ever wondered how to make your own homemade soft pretzels? Well, we're gonna show you how to do just that. With this easy recipe, you're gonna be making these all the time. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna take a cup and a quarter of warm water and we're gonna place it into our stand mixer. And you can use a bowl with a wooden spoon if, you, if that's what you have. And the water has to be warm. You don't want it to be hot nor cold. Next, we're gonna take our, our Rapid Rise Instant Yeast and we're gonna just whisk this in to our warm water. And we're after whisking this in, we're just gonna let this sit for one to two minutes. Next, we're gonna whisk in one tablespoon of melted butter. And we're gonna whisk in some salt. And remember, all the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box down below. We're gonna go ahead and put some brown sugar in there. Whisk that up. And next, we're gonna add our flour a cup at a time. And we're gonna mix it until the dough forms. I'm just gonna take my wooden spoon here and kinda mix this, help mix this in. You wanna make sure that your dough is not sticky, but you don't want it dry either. I'm gonna add, add a last little bit of half cup of flour to this. Now, if your dough is still a little bit sticky, you can add a quarter cup more flour as needed. Just make sure not to make add too much of it. So now once the dough is formed, we're gonna take it and we're gonna knead this for a good five minutes. Now you can do it in your mixer if you prefer, but I prefer to do it by hand. You're just gonna knead it for five minutes. Okay, so once you're done kneading your dough, just form it into a ball. We're gonna take a bowl. We're gonna take some veggie oil and just lightly grease the bowl so we can place the dough in it. Place the dough in it. And we're just gonna take a hand towel and loosely cover it. And we're letting the dough rest, not rise, but you just want it to rest for 10 minutes. Okay, so now while the dough's resting, we're gonna boil, have our six cups of water boiled, and we're gonna put a third cup of baking soda. And this helps with the, so, cause we need the pretzels to be in an alkaline type of liquid. And this is what gives them the nice pretzel taste, the chewy, taste that we all love. I'm just gonna put that in the water. And I'm just gonna keep the water hot. I'm not gonna turn it off now. You can take it off the heat if your pretzels are already shaped or rolled out, but I'm just gonna keep mine water nice and hot because you need the water hot when you're dipping the pretzels in the baking soda bath, so. All right, so now we're gonna take our dough after it's rested for 10 minutes. If there's any air, you can just flatten it out. And we're just gonna take a dough chopper or a very sharp knife, whichever you have, and we're gonna cut the dough into sections, a third sections. Now that your dough is cut, we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna roll your dough into 20, to 22 inch ropes. I'm just gonna take it, and I'm just gonna roll it out, like I said, into a, a 20 to 22 inch rope. Okay, and once it's rolled out, we're gonna take the ends of the pretzel, and we're gonna put it, cross them over once, and then cross them over twice. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna fold it over and shape your pretzel. And make sure you press these ends in so it stays. See, pretzel shape. Okay, so now that we have our pretzel shape, we're gonna put dip them in one to two at a time in this baking soda bath, only for 20 to 30 seconds though. Any more than that and it'll, it won't taste right. Just make sure that your hot, your water is hot. You can have a slight boil to it or you can have it off the heat. 
Okay, and we're gonna take this out and make sure you use a spatula that has the grates in it because you wanna get all that excess water, let it drain off. And we're gonna place this on a parchment paper lined baking sheet, but make sure you spray the parchment paper, non-stick spray cooking oil. Uh, if you have a silicone baking mat, you can use that as well. And we're just gonna repeat the process for the remainder of our pretzels. All right, now that they're done with the alkaline bath, we're gonna place these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake these for about 12 to 13 minutes or until golden brown. All right, so now that these pretzels have finished baking and it has taken about 30 minutes, we're gonna take melted butter. I'm just gonna base some melted butter on these. This is what they look like basted. it. Now these are unsalted. Now if you want salted, um, just put the salt on before you bake them and it'll just bake into it while it is in the oven. We just prefer ours unsalted. And I have my pretzel, we have our nacho cheese. You can have Dijon mustard goes really well with it. Whatever topping of your choice that you like. And that my friends is how you make a nice homemade pretzel. All right, if you like what you've seen, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Press that like button and make sure you comment down below. Let us know if you're gonna be trying this recipe and what is your favorite different sauces for pretzels. Also, make sure you check out our latest video uploads.